Welcome to Oracle. This is first module to a start to see SQL statement. So come to Oracle SQL. The objective of this session is to write a query against single and multiple table to retrieve data, control privileges at the object and system level, creating a schema objects that is table, view, sequence, synonym, indexes, constraints, etc. The advanced features of SQL to maintain or manipulate data within the database. Use the dictionary views to retrieve metadata and create reports. The audience of this session may be application developer, business analyst, data warehouse developer, forms developer, PLSQL developer and system analyst. The, this session is basically designed for the beginners, those who log in to the database. So the basic design, theoretical and physical aspects of the relational database. It also categorizes different types of SQL statement. Log on to the database by using SQL star plus environment. Save the query and file to use a script file in SQL developer. To write a SQL statement, we have different types of SQL statement it is available. Data manipulation language, data definition language, data control language and transaction control language. So the data manipulation language we can either select, insert, update, delete and merge the statement. It is a language. Language. This language is basically used to communicate database to client. Data definition language. In this language you can create, alter, drop, rename, truncate and use comments. You can use the data control language that is for granting, revoke. Transaction controls we have that is used to commit rollback and the save point. But to write a SQL statement, how to write a SQL statement? The SQL statement, first of all, it is not case sensitive. A SQL statement can be one or more lines. The keywords cannot be abbreviated. Clauses are usually placed in different lines. In SQL plus star plus required to end each statement with a semicolon. The capability of the SQL statement is projection, selection and joining. Projection is basically what data we required. So it's choose the column from the in the table. Selection choose the row in the table that are returned by the subquery and the joining in joining part you can retrieve data from two tables and more than two table so this is objective let us now we try to connect to the database as a beginner level first of all we need to connect to connect database database must have to be in running state there are two ways is available to connect database. One is through login with command prompt. To login with command prompt, just type CMD and press enter button. Once you press enter button, then clear the screen and write down SQL plus. SQL plus is a client tool. It is used to connect Oracle client machine to the server machine. So once you press SQL statement, it will ask you to enter username and the password. Username is the responsibility of a database administrator to create it. So by default, some user is already created, just like sys user, system user, HR user, Scott user is already there. So in the next means the next video, you will get that how to create a user, how to assign privilege to the users, how to revoke privilege from a user. But the in the first session, you need to understand how to log into the database. 
to log in we required a user so the current username is hr and the password is hr so once we put proper user id and password then we will move to sql so this is sql prompt this is one way to log into the database now in this hr hr is a user it means it has own schema a schema means it is a space allocated for the user and whatever object is associated or available or created by this user are stored into the particular schema in that schema now i want to find out the how many objects is available in this uh, in the user schema so we can write a select select a star from tab the question is that how to write down so the select it is a data manipulation language it is a selection statement select select statement means we try to retrieve data from a particular objects a star here the star means all you can specify a specified column name from a table name the grammar of this sql statement is if you want to retrieve data you can use select column name from table name if table is available we are able to get that data semicolon is basically used to terminate the programs or log in uh, to execute the program so if we write select a star from tab i am able to get the all objects which is available in this schema so in this schema we have a employee table let's see this is employee object department objects countries object we have jobs regions so these all objects which is available and this object type is it may be table views and so on so these all objects is currently available now the question comes who design that objects why this object is required what it contains what information is available in this object we need to understand here because it is a hr schema so in this schema there is a employee table employee then the question comes what is table table is a object it has a structure and value it contains information it is a object so in a employees table there are many columns it is available if you want to see the what are contents what is the structure of the table we can use describe and the object name so if i write i am able to get the structural details of the employee table now as a beginner level it becomes difficult to understand why, why and what are uh, column it is available what is the null value and what are data type it is available that gradually you are able to understand it but currently employee in the employee table we have employee id first name last name email phone number hire date job id salary commission pct manager id and department id columns how many columns it is required it all depends upon the business analysis point of view those who are business analysis uh, or those who are designer of this schema uh, this object then they add it but in one table you can add n number of columns the maximum limit is 1024 so these all columns it is available and the data type is also available so data type is nothing it is a category of data we basically we have a raw data 